you line up the ball, you go to your routine, and you hit it, and it goes 30 yards. And you just shot another 95. I know what you're going through. I had reached a rut in a plateau where I wasn't improving. Uh, and I was getting to the point in my life where, after playing a lot of years, I just wasn't getting any better. It was my first tournament ever. After playing about a year, some horrible golf. I want to be the best golfer in my group. I know I'm better. I've just never had any formal trainings. I was just at a point where I needed a plan. I needed direction. I still believed in myself and my ability to play at the highest levels. And I ran across uh, Dean Chitrin. Guys, welcome to my movie. My name is Dean Chitrin. I'm the founder of Low 70s Golf, Peak Performance Scoring Mastery. If you've been struggling playing golf for decades in the high 80s, 90s, and just frustrated with your golf game, have I got a great documentary for you. I've been an avid golfer for most of my adult life, but always kind of stuck in the I think, you know, 15 to 18 handicap area. You're gonna discover all the things that you've been doing right and all the things you've been doing wrong, but most importantly, what needs to change today. We're gonna dive into specific peak performance training around your body, your skill set, your mindset, your emotions, and become the most confident golfer in your community and possibly win your club championship. I've got the greatest solution on the planet where we can take average people, men, women, no matter the age, that have made the decision to shoot par. I am now titled the World AM Myrtle Beach Golf Champion. Come on, let's go have some fun. So we're out here near Huntington Beach, California, beautiful state. We're on a strange course today. We're on the third hole. It's uh, extremely windy today, and so the wind just pushed it. So I got a bunker in front, which is trouble, and then I got 47 yards of the flag. So the first rule of Fight Club is to make the green. You know, the first rule is just to get on the green. If I just get it to the green there, I still have a birdie putt. I know your pain. You worked hard all week. You're excited for your tea time Saturday morning. You line up the ball, you go through your routine, and you hit it, and it goes 30 yards. Hold up, guys. Let me hit another one. It goes 30 yards. 30 yards. You go in the clubhouse, you have a couple drinks, you get in your car, you put your clubs in, you close the trunk, and you just shot another 95. Um, and I watched my scores balloon and my handicap, you know, balloon. Golf. You love it more than anything in the world. And right now, you do not have the ability to shoot par. And when you're not happy in golf, you're not happy in your business, you're not happy in your relationships, you're not happy in your health. Well, I spent, you know, 20 plus years uh, scoring, you know, right around 100 or so and um, not seeing any improvement in my game over that time. And it doesn't have to be that way for the rest of your life. Always loved golf, but never had time for it. My dad was a pretty decent golfer. I went on the internet and started searching tournaments. So we went up to the tournament. That was my first tournament, which was two years ago, and it was called the World Amateur in Myrtle Beach. And it said any golfer could play in this thing. I don't even know if I'm physically capable of golfing four days in a row. It put me in the women's flight in the worst group. So we were handicapped like 27 to 35. Um, I think I shot like a 112 and a 120 and like we were just terrible. When I went home thinking all the way home, I'm like, this is something I want to do. I put a golf simulator in my garage and then figured out that I probably needed some help to get my game back where it was. I've always been an athletic person. I always knew I had a lot more potential in golf. And I knew that with the right coaching and the right plan and the right approach, I could, I could make headway. I went on the internet searching and I found Dean. He said, what are your goals? I want to go back to the world I am a year later. I want to be in a better handicap group and I want to win my flight and I want to join the 18 hole group and not be in the worst D group. I don't want to be there. And I talk to so many golfers every week, every month, every year that they love the game so much, yet they can't break 90. 
And I saw that and I'm like, well, I want to I want to fill that need. We had a lot of work to do because my, my swing was a disaster. Um, I didn't even know how to grip the club properly. There was nothing I was doing right, probably nothing. I have been nothing but pleasantly pleased with the results, with the effort, with what he puts in, with the information that I'm seeing real time, feedback. Band-aids and tips never work. It requires a training. Typically, our student becomes the best version of himself health-wise. Of course, I'm an older golfer. I wasn't feeling good. I had arthritis. I have an autoimmune disease in my hands. I was telling him I was frustrated with my weight. And Dean started talking to me about nutrition. They start eating better. They start sleeping better. They feel better because of our stability, mobility, and flexibility training. And I was having a lot of problems with stiffness and back aches and everything. I went on his program, the stretching, and you're not going to believe what happened. I felt like a million dollars and I lost 10 pounds like that. I'm not dieting. You know, I'm not withholding carbs and doing all that. I just changed my diet and thanks to me. And as we were moving on, I was actually improving, like majorly. From barely breaking 100 to shooting in the high 80s within six weeks. Um, my game feels different. The game is not as physically taxing on. Hitting fairways, hitting greens, and having a short game to be able to get up and down to say par or bogey. Season starts in November, and by January, I was in the C group, and by March, I was in the B group. My low score to date is a 73. Two weeks, I've dropped uh, a little over 10 strokes. Now I'm winning in the ladies league. My gross in the B group, I'm winning tournaments against men. 90% on training, 10% on practice, and 100% coaching feedback. That's how it's possible. It's prideful, it's joyful. This gives you a sense of goals, and when you reach those goals, it just it just makes your whole life feel better. And golf is a game of mind, body, spirit, and emotion. He's helped me develop the mindset of a champion. Not only do I want to move up to the first group, not only do I want to win that flight, I want to win the whole darn thing. You need to read a green, you need to hit your line, you need to control your speed, you can learn that. The full swing, ball striking, you can learn that. So you get the learning, the knowledge, and then the experience. And when you come here, most importantly, you're gonna get the skill set to be the A player. I promise you in 90 days, you can drop 15 strokes. I work with Dr. Jim Suddy, Kevin Strelman's coach. I work with Mike Bender, who's Zach Johnson's coach. Bob Toski, who was a 1957 leading money winner on the PGA Tour. I can actually break 70. I've shot in the 60s quite a few times. This is a 12-week Navy SEALs golf training program where we focus on eight skill sets. Your body, putting, finesse wedges and bunkers, distance wedge, full swing, core strategy, mindset and confidence. We're gonna teach you and train you to score low into the low 70s in just three months. Like I can't go out and shoot a 95 tomorrow unless I did it on purpose. So if you come in and you get down to a 75, that's a skill set that's permanent for the rest of your life. Our promise to you is you come in, shoot 90, and in 90 days, you can shoot a 75. So we're a few minutes into this movie, and if you sense and you can feel that you're already ready to drop 10 or 15 strokes with our team, just book a call, fill out our short form, send in a video of your golf swing, We'll put together a really good plan of what it's gonna take for you to go from 95 to 75 in the next three to four months. If you're not ready, just grab a notepad and a pen, have some fun, and let's continue the journey. At the top of the swing, you move the lower part of your body, not your shoulders, the lower part of your body, letting your arms and hands follow. Poverty just sucks. I've been a survivor my entire life. It'd be days where you just don't eat. You just go with the flow and figure out how to survive. No one in my family ever went to college and then we had an opportunity to see someone do a presentation in our history class in my senior year. If you're interested in learning more about going to college, just put in a little asterisk on a little card. 
I'm barely eating, you know, lunch food during the school week in high school, but I make a decision at that point that I'm gonna be the first one to go to college and graduate. Got student loans, Pell Grants, parents took out student loans. One year into college, I joined the Army to pay for the rest of it. Right out of college, uh, I was 21 years young, I graduated college and some buddies were going to play golf at Minerva Lakes. Went out and shot 105. Todd Bernhardt, who I was playing with, he said, man, that's a pretty good score, you should read this book. Ben Hogan's Five Lessons, it's like 100 pages. I read the book and very quickly understood that I could become really good at this game. I've always wanted to be great at whatever I did, survive and thrive. And that led me to more decisions to, you know, leave Columbus, Ohio, move to Florida to play golf. I still was in poverty, you know. Graduated college in debt up to the Wahoo and, and still never made a lot of money. I got a commodity broker's license, I got a stockbroker's license, I got in the financial services industry, and then the World Trade Center goes down. This is as close as we can get to the base of the World Trade Center. You can see the firemen assembled here. I went into the mortgage industry. The stock market is now down 21%. What in the world is happening on Wall Street? Two year no yields went from 190. Pretty big business failure in 2008. And I made a decision that if I was gonna start another business, it was gonna do something I really enjoyed doing. Went through Titleist Performance Institute, got certified in fitness and, and golf one, two, and three. After, you know, myself playing in the, the 70s and prior to that playing in the 90s, but seeing so many golfers struggle, and I knew there was a solution. I knew that if people actually train as much as they actually play golf, they could actually go from a 90 to 70, and that's that was the defining moment. And then that led me to where I am today, just figuring out why people couldn't break 80. That is such a key that I, I didn't understand. It motivated me to do a lot more. It's not just the mechanics of the golf game. I'm by far the best short game player in my group. And just getting your mind in the right place. And I he's not only a golf coach, but he's, a, he's an incredible life coach. Look, they say the average golfer is never gonna break 90 throughout their entire life. That's just bullshit. All right, folks, if you're in a house, so now the World AM, again, is a four-day tournament. You play four days. That one, you have to win your flight to move on to the playoffs. I did Navy SEALs before I went to Myrtle Beach. And that was a great experience for me. Because number one, I got to play that Valspar championship course with Dean. He was at our side for the, the three days we were up there. We are not nervous. We know exactly what we need to do. We know exactly our game plan. We just knew we were gonna play our own game. We weren't gonna look at any of the other golfers around us. And we were gonna get in the zone and just do the best we can within our handicap. So I was in second place on the, the second day and on the third day I was in first place. So I had to play well on the fourth day. What happens on the fourth day? I wake up, I don't feel good. Just not out of body, not feeling well. Just, I guess my age. It was my worst round of the four days. It was the hardest course. I just couldn't get in my groove. Everybody else in the field were like 10 or more behind me. Now we get to, to, to the playoff in the morning and it is just far bigger than Mesquite could ever be. The leaderboard is like 30 feet high. It's at the clubhouse. They have flags all over the place because this is the world they have. 10 countries, 50 states, we are playing from the red teams, but guess what the distance is now? 59.35. That is 900 yards different than we had been playing all week. My game over the four days was getting ready to show its colors. And I did all my drills that Dean taught me. You know, I, and I actually sent him a video of it. I had all my balls around the putting green, you know, six foot, putting them in. I did all my drills on the 
I started out putting, then I did my chipping, then I did, and Brian, my husband, was like my caddy. He had seen some of the drills that Dean had done, and we had worked through all the drills. I never broke a 90, ever. I said I shot an 89. Most amazing feeling I ever had. I was crying before, but I got myself together so I can talk to you. It's the most exciting thing that ever happened to me, especially in golf. That is my name. That is literally my name. I still don't believe it. They might say, well, Gene, you're on really only in the 80s. What's the big deal? The big deal is I'm only doing this seriously at this level for two years. It's kind of fun. Now I'm like so excited when I go to my leagues, you know, I'm not embarrassed anymore. And um, and they know I'm still taking lessons and they know I'm still striving to be a better golfer. Last year was my first tournament play ever. And when I came to the World AM, I was like, oh my God, this is the most amazing thing. But I've worked hard. His program is set to really teach you the fundamentals in the correct way. There's a lot of teachers out there all over the place. Do this, do that, do this. It is the right way. There's no ands, ifs, or buts. If you stick with this program, you will improve and spank it down. You can do it in your living room. You don't have to go to the golf course. You have to get the fundamentals of the swing down so set. All this hard work that I've been doing, all this training that I'm doing, all the stuff I'm learning through Dean, it's all coming together. And I knew someday it was going to bust out and show its colors. The moral piece of this is we have been brainwashed since birth that you have to just survive and not thrive. I believe all human beings have unlimited potential. When I first started this training program, I was a scratch golfer. People spend tens of thousands of dollars on fancy equipment, golf memberships, country clubs, green fees, train age, trinkets. Over the last decade, you spent thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars on golf, and none of that's the real reason they can't shoot par. With mentorship, coaching, and feedback, and you laser focus on skill sets, you, you watching this right now, in 90 days can go from a, a 90 to a 75, and that's my promise to you. Structure training is the number one and only reason why you can't shoot par right now. Most of the students that I've seen play golf the last three decades, they can't even do a squat. So we made sure we do a fitness evaluation so you get more stability, more mobility, but most importantly at our age, more flexibility going to start to feel better, get rid of some of the back pain, the neck pain, the shoulder pain, start sleeping like a baby. You're going to get immediate access to the training. You're going to drill it, you're going to drill it, you're going to drill it. You're going to learn how to read a green, hit your line, and you're going to learn how to control your speed, and you're going to become the best putt at your country club. But once we're done training putting, we're going to go into finesse way, and then we'll add in a little bit more speed and acceleration than finesse in, in the, out of the bunker, and then actually drop anywhere between 8 to 12 strokes just in putting finesse wedge and bunker. We're gonna make sure that you master the distance wedges from 45 yards, 55 yards, 85, 90, 100 yards, and then we'll get in the full swing sequence. You're gonna learn how to build a complete full swing in a mirror without ever hitting a ball, and you're gonna drill it over and over and over for three weeks to build a new motor pattern in your brain. And so it's 12 weeks of training with instant coaching and feedback every week with myself and my team. Putting, get feedback. You're gonna learn finesse wedges, get feedback. You're gonna learn the bunker sequence, get feedback. If you're a weekend warrior, you're right. It's probably not for you. I can assure you though, if you show up coachable, committed, I promise you in the next 12 weeks, you can drop 12, 15, 20 strokes. Then after the first 12 weeks, you are gonna do an after action report. And you're gonna rate yourself on those eight skill sets and you're gonna find out what you're good at, what you're not so good at. And we're gonna laser focus again for another three months and really dial in and master those fundamentals that you're still having challenges with. 
I don't have enough time. I don't have enough time. There's 168 hours in a week. There's 24 hours in a day. Over the next 10 weeks, could you find 30 minutes out of a 24 hour window to know that you can drop 10 strokes permanently for the rest of your life? So we've structured this program for anybody that feels that they don't have enough time. But if you love golf as much as you do, could you spend another you know, three minutes in the mirror, getting a full shoulder turn and feeling where the weight is on this and feeling your squat? Of course you can. The way it's structured, it's not like you have to go an hour to the gym every day to get fit. It's simply, what skill set are we learning today? Putting, cool. We'll figure out how to do it in the quickest amount of time. You're gonna change the way you look at things. You're gonna feel better. You're gonna look better. You're gonna change your mindset, your belief system. You're gonna to start to realize that it doesn't have to be this or that. It can be both. When you surround yourself with people that are better than you, you have to get better. And when you come here, you're gonna be able to walk away with a sense of, wow, this has been a fun journey and nobody can ever take that skill set away from you. Not just your golf skill set, but the way you became a better human being as well. Wow, you made it this far and watched the entire movie. You've seen our stories, you've seen our successes, you've seen our process, our strategy, exactly how our students are doing it. And here's the reality. You can't unsee, unwatch, unlearn what you just witnessed. Same with your golf swing. You can't unlearn a motor control skill. But now you have a choice. The choice is very clear. Stay stuck, be the weakened hacker, or the non-committed, or the indecisive, or you can simply make the decision and commit to being the A player at your country club or in your foursome. I invite you to schedule a call with our team, and we'll put together a really good plan on the call. We'll spend about 45 minutes walking you through the entire process of how you're gonna go from 95 to 75 or drop 10 or 15 strokes in the next three months. No more obstacles, no more excuses. Make this your priority, make your health your priority, make golf your priority. Book a call today, no more excuses. We're waiting for you, come join our team.